Good morning all and welcome to morning prayer. I'm glad you're joining with me today. Our morning prayer today begins on page 570. This is Wednesday, the fourth week in Easter, and today is also the memorial of the Apostles Philip and James. Let's join together in prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm. Keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Merciful Lord, in times both good and bad, keep our hearts and minds fixed upon you. Root us in the faith of your apostles and evangelists and help us to trust in your goodness, even when our trials seem insurmountable. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. From all thy saints in warfare, from all thy saints at rest, to thee, O blessed Jesus, all praises be addressed. Thou, Lord, didst win the battle, that they might conquerors be. Their crowns of living glory are lit with rays from thee. We praise you, Lord, for Philip, blessed guide to Greek and Jew, and for young James, the faithful, who heard and followed you. O oh, grant us grace to know you, the way, the truth, the life, to wrestle with temptation, to triumph in the strife. Now praise we God the Father, praise we God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, eternal three in one, till all the ransom number fall down before the throne, in honor, power, and glory ascribe to God alone. Psalm 34 I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are helpless take heart. Come, let us tell the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. I prayed to the Lord, and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. In my desperation I prayed, and the Lord listened. He saved me from all my troubles. For the angel of the Lord is a guard. He surrounds and defends all who fear you. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, the joys of those who take refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you, his godly people. For those who fear him will have all they need. Even the strong young lions sometimes go hungry. But those who trust in the Lord will lack no good thing. Come, my children, and listen to me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Does anyone want to live a life that is long and prosperous? Then keep your tongue from speaking evil and your lips from telling lies. Turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. His ears are open to their cries for help. But the Lord turns his face against those who do evil. He will erase their memory from the earth. The Lord hears his people that they call to him for help. He rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. For the Lord protects the bones of the righteous. Not one of them is broken. Calamity will surely overtake the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. But the Lord will redeem those who serve him. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ephesians. You are no longer strangers and aliens. 
You are citizens along with all of God's holy people. You are members of God's family. Together we are his house, built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, and the cornerstone is Christ Jesus himself. We are carefully joined together in him, becoming a holy temple for the Lord. Through him, you Gentiles are also being made part of his dwelling where God lives by his spirit. Go up to a high mountain, herald the good tidings to Zion. Lift up your voice with strength, herald of good tidings to Jerusalem. Lift up your voice, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, behold your God. See the Lord God coming with power, coming to rule his mighty arm. He brings his reward for the people of God. He recompenses for those who are saved. God will feed his flock like a shepherd and gather the lambs in his arms. He will hold them to his breast and gently lead those that are with young. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. Father, you will that your Son, when raised from the dead, should be manifested first to the apostles and other specially chosen witnesses. Grant that we too may be faithful in our witness to him. You sent your Son into the world to announce good news to the poor. Grant that we may live the gospel and bring help to those in need. You sent your Son to sow the seed of the Word. Grant that after toiling to sow the Word of life, we may be privileged to witness with joy the harvest you reap. You sent your Son to reconcile the world to you by his death. Grant that we may be his reconciling mercy to others. You set your Son at your right hand in heaven. Grant a place with him to all who are dying this day, that they may rejoice in your heavenly kingdom forever. And Lord, we pray for the men at the Milwaukee Secure Detention Facility, those that came to Bible study last night. Lord, the room was filled, and I thank you, praise you for that. We pray for those, Lord, that ask questions, that participated, that listened, that heard, for your working in their lives. Help them see they're in prison for a purpose, that they might be drawn closer to you. And thank you, Lord, for Billy, such a young man, who said last night after the Bible study that this is all starting to make sense now to him. Oh, God, I thank you. Work in his heart, may your Holy Spirit open his mind and heart to receive you more fully and help him this day to be safe and draw close to you, Lord. Father, we thank you for all the times you hear our prayers. And we ask your forgiveness for all the times we don't come to you. Watch over us this day. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from the evil one. God of mercy and love, you gave to your apostles, Philip and James, both grace and strength to bear witness to the truth. May we who celebrate their victory of faith this day follow their example, and so in living and in dying, glorify the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our day in his peace. And may souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. Thank you for praying with me this morning and joining me. It's always a blessing to know that you're there. And I pray the Lord blesses your day. That you do what you have to do in the name of the Lord and serve him in everything. God's peace to you today. Amen.